Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel as promised in my previous video in this video I am going to demonstrate a use case where we can add clickable links to the work notes so this is uh, from one of my previous clients um, and he had this weird request that let's say uh, we have this incident and there are certain child incidents which are obviously visible in the related list on the bottom of the form so he also wanted that uh, as and when a particular child incident closes there should be a note added to let's say work notes or the additional comments with a link to the child ticket so let's see how we can do that so for this reason i am going to create a business rule first So let's say when the state changes to closed I want to add a link to the work notes of the parent ticket so first of all I need to get the society of the parent ticket so I can get that by incident fine now let's add a glide record to the parent ticket so it's always a good practice that you give a proper name to your variable that has been declared most of the people use GR which is not recommended by ServiceNow but ServiceNow never explained why it is not recommended so this has something to do with your memory and the same session we can cover that in uh, future videos so once this happens I need to add a link to the parent incident so 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 now I am going to frame a URL so the URL starts like this first of all code tags then anchor tag comes into picture and after the anchor tags I need to uh, so what's that property which can give me the link of the instance so the property is glide dot servlet dot uri okay and then I can again go back I'll add a slash then I need to specify the table name so since I'm talking about the parent ticket I think the table name would be same so we can simply do that current dot get table name I can simply hard code it by typing the incident so either ways it can be done now from here I'm going to 
pass the sys id okay and the sys id is already available to us in the parent inc field okay so once the sys id is passed then what else uh, by specifying the target attribute i am just uh, letting know that uh, i want this link to be open in a new tab not the same tab So now my link is almost ready. I just need to uh, specify what would be the ticket number over here. So the ticket number would be current dot number. Now this is done. After this, I just need to close out the anchor tags if I have not already. So this closes my anchor tags. Now what is remaining? I started the code tags but I have not closed my code tags so let's close the code tags as well now okay so my incident URL is ready wherein this will take care of the URL part table name and then the sys id uh, so I guess the sys id should be parent record sys id Sorry for the confusion because we are adding a link to the parent ticket of the current ticket. So then target blank and the number of the current ticket. Then 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 we can also add some kind of a text that makes a little bit sense because adding just a link to the work notes won't make much sense, right? So let's do this incident was closed nothing else then I can add a link to the child ticket I think this should work fine now I can call the update uh, let's save it and see if this works out I'm going to navigate back to the child ticket. So this is the parent ticket. And here I have this child ticket. Let me click on the child ticket link. And I'll try to close this child incident. save this form now my child incident is closed and if I go to my parent incident from here I should be able to see a clickable link in the work notes yeah so this says this incident was closed and this is the ticket number let's see if clicking on this ticket number works fine or am I just making a fool out of everyone watching this video so it works perfectly fine so this is how we can add this is one such use case where uh, we want every child incident closed link on the parent incident this could be done for uh, customer service management module or a couple of other modules as well in service now and there could be other possible use cases also 
but this is just one of them uh, and thank you so much for watching